Uh, so there's your answer. I have no idea. I'm just gonna stand here until you figure out it's me. Did you bring something for your friends? Uh, oh, I'll, I'll be right back. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, Man, how many more questions? Because I don't want, I don't want to... Don't just keep answering until I get back. Okay, answering. Hi. Hi, I'm Julia. Hi. <laughs> so, my question is, as a person, do you relate more with Kane or King Richard? Because I empathize so much with Kane that I tattooed the Mark of Cain on my arm, and <laughs> so. Well, I hope for my family's sake that I I feel more King Richard than Cain. Although my wife and I were in a fight the other day, and uh, she maybe was saying I was an asshole. Not entirely, but she was like, um, she's like maybe this is why you play so many. I was, you know, I got a fight outside and I lost my temper about something. And she's like, maybe this is why you play all these dark assholes all the time, because you're fucking, you know, you're so angry. So there's certainly, you know, there's elements of me in everything I play, because that's much easier than making it up. Um, so there's a, a vengeance and a righteousness that I uh, identify with um, in Kane. But for Richard, certainly this season, like that, that, uh, Feeling lost and feeling like you don't belong, all, all that, all of that insecurity, that's all definitely me, believe it or not. So I would identify more with, uh, with Richard. I'm a romantic at heart, and I think he is, and, and uh, he just wanted to be loved, and God knows I wouldn't be an actor if I didn't. Um, love me, please, that's why I come to conventions. <laughs> um, so there, so Richard. Thank you. Um, so Tim, I, I, I brought you, okay, all right. Now you're just doing a thing. I brought you a beer, but rather than serve it myself, I also brought a beer boy. Oh, beer boy! Serve Mr. Owenson his beer. Now kneel, kneel, beer boy, kneel. <laughs> That's the best looking beer you boy know what? I've ever you seen. You should never hire a beer boy with a bad knee. That's... Hey, thanks, buddy. You Thank you, beer boy. You're welcome, Timothy Almondson. Do you know that Timothy Almondson and I have known each other for nigh on 30 years? Nigh on 30 years, Ricardo. 30 years. I know what you're thinking to yourself. You guys aren't even 30 years old. That math doesn't make any sense. That doesn't work. You meet each other in utero? <laughs> As psychos? No, we've known each other for a long time. We went to, and I'm dropping the article here on purpose, we went to university together. Well, we did, didn't we? We sure did, Mike. We attended college together. And so I've known Tim. I'm not going, what? You went to university? <laughs> that's, the, that's the shocking How'd part. How'd you go to college? We went to university together, and then Tim did a television show for 19 years called Psych. A, a great show, long-lasting show, uh, and when he was doing Psych, Tim, Tim, and not only is, have we known each other forever, but he also knows Robbie Thompson from Jericho, which is a series that Tim did. And you did. With a young rich face. So, Timmy did Jericho with, with Robbie Thompson and me, then Timmy's doing Psych, and Timmy knows that I'm doing Supernatural Conventions, every five minutes. <laughs> and Tim says, I'm on television. And by the way, Rich, you're not. But I, I, I'm on television all, every week. I, your supernatural fan base is enormous and they're cool and fun. I want to be a part of that world. So Tim would actually come at my invitation to conventions in Vancouver and Los Angeles, California. Of this, yes. And do karaoke and be dashing and everything. Imagine this, Tim, with a, a class A haircut and shave, you know, like ready for the service, the psych era. Yeah. Tim Amundsen would come and do this. And he would do it so often that I think Robbie Thompson wrote the role of Kane, which he wrote for Tim. I think he wrote that role for Tim just to give Tim a raison d'etre, you know, like a, a reason to actually be there. So he could get paid to do it. I mean, I, in many ways, it's like he felt bad for you. Yeah, probably. It's like, it's getting a little pathetic, Tim. <laughs> 
you're around a lot. So we better just give you a roll. So that's how, that's how the magic happens. So if you enjoy Tim Amundsen's work on Supernatural, you have me to thank, and you're welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I gave them to me -o. You're welcome. <laughs> Something else you should know about this weekend, people. And I have this straight from the horse's mouth. This being the horse. Tim is going to be doing a lot of costume changes this week. <laughs> he, he already changed from the walk this morning to this thing. I know, I, I know, this is not, I'm not... Because some of us have class, Richard. I'm just, well... <laughs> because, Richard, you see, some of us have class. Wait, wait, this is called a cravat. It's called a cravat, Rich. Grew a pair. Here's the thing. <laughs> Tim is going to change a lot because Tim, Tim has been in Europe for a long time. Hanging out, brought a lot of clothes. Then, Q montage music, went on a shopping spree with his buddies yesterday. Blink, 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 blink. And so Tim has a lot of new clothes and old clothes, and it's a mix max heaven. Yes. So he has a weekend of con left, then you go home. So he's gonna be wearing a lot of clothes. I'm very excited. You could literally be in a photo op line with Tim. Get your photo, forget your bag, come back to get your purse, and he would have changed. He's gonna be like Carol Channing on Broadway. He's gonna be literally like big hats and skirts. We don't know what he's gonna be doing, but I'm just, now I'm building it up so you have to follow through. Excellent. He'll be changing clothes a lot. So we have that to look forward to. Also, in my defense about the shopping spree, I happen to, to send all my dirty clothes out to be laundered because I didn't have time to do it and realized they weren't going to be back in time. Hey, nobody's blaming you for the shopping spree. I was a part of the spree. I know, it's a great jacket, by the way. Thank you very much. I'm glad I helped you pick it out. Kapow. Uh, Jason Manns. Rob Spindelot Benedict. <laughs> Rob, 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 who's walking around just like, oh, be okay. Like, yeah, I'm just trying not to be interested in anything because I don't want to spend any money. Cut to. Got you, Robbie, with the biggest bags. It's like, well, we were there a long time. I was like, like, I was like, I thought you were spending your Miracle on 34th Street shopping, sort of like. It's like, you're all here too long, goddammit. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, but again, if you like what Tim's wearing this weekend, at any time during the weekend, once again, you have me to thank. So I'm bringing you not only Tim Amundsen to the show, Tim Amundsen on the show, Tim Amundsen dressing up for a convention. Answer a question. Yes, hi. Um, my question actually works for both of you, if Rich is around there. Uh, well, sorry, I'm, 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 sorry. I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm okay. I'm just going um, over here. So, after you talked about the thrilling adventure out um, last year, I caught up with the podcast absolutely. Which, I'm sorry, do you know, who knows thrilling adventure hour? Okay. Not many of you. <laughs> but podcast it. Yeah. It's it's nice. Nice. And by the way, you have me to thank for Richard Spate being on Thrilling Venture Hour. That's true. <laughs> there. That is true. Tit for tat. You know what? <laughs> Checkmate. Uh. <laughs> yes, darling. Um, so I absolutely love the podcast, and I wondered if you could um, talk about um, the, your favorite character that you played on the podcast. Oh, favorite character from the Thrilling Adventure Hour podcast. I'm going to go first because I've done it a lot fewer times than Tim, so it's easier for me to choose. But they had me play a Jabba the Hutt type character, which was funny because they wrote dialogue that didn't match the Jabba the Hutt character, but I said it they, oh, 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 big guttural laugh character voice, and it was super, super fun. And they had one, of, I can't remember, Josh Molina, somebody, one of the really funny cats, doing that, <laughs> you know, sidekick. This, this show is... Since most of you don't know, it's a podcast. It's called Thrilling Adventure Hour. I don't know, they've been doing it for 10 years. There's 100 episodes. It's great for actors because uh, it's a live theater, live, live audience. You show up, everybody gets dressed up real fancy. They hand you a script pretty much that morning. They email oh, really? it to you that I mean, morning. You, I don't even think it's that morning. I mean, I've arrived to get them 30 minutes before the yeah. show. You have a quick run through. You, you, it's a radio show, so you read it uh, in front of the audience. It's, Super easy to do. There's a band, there's music, there's singing. But you end up with, when, the truth of the matter is, you end up with some of LA's sharpest comedic minds yeah. writing it and performing in it. It's super smart comedy. And then they bring in guest stars, of which Richard and I are uh, friends of the show. You friends of the show. That. And you never know who else is going to be there. Like one day I walked in, I was like, oh, there's fucking Michael Sheenan. Michael Sheenan. Oh, that's awesome. You know. 
way back in days of old, there was a legend called a hero known as Caliban. They're playing your song. Is that to go for you, Tim, now? Yeah, I think they're playing you off. I think the organ's are to struck up. I liked, I liked my gay fish longer. Ladies and gentlemen, T.O. Timothy Amundsen, everybody. Ciao. Ciao.